Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Rafale is the name that needs no introduction in the community of defense lovers. The aircraft is the most advanced fighter jet in the arsenal of Indian Air Force and at the same time does not let our adversaries sleep tight. Recently Indian Air Force has showcased the belly or Rafale in air and guess what it has? Of course no six pack but the pack of some of the deadly missiles. If you see the picture carefully, you can see Rafale carrying a Scalp EG cruise missile on its center line pylon. The weapon station mounted at the center of fuselage, two external fuel tanks and four Mica air-to-air -air missiles. Rafale has been seen before as well with Mica missile, but it was the first time when it was shown with a Scalp missile. We can also see some awesome pics of Rafale with its flare vapor trails nicely vortexed in the fighter's wake. Talking about Scalp EG, also known as Storm Shadow, has a range of 560 km and one of the best standoff missiles. The missile weighs about 1300 kg with a warhead of 450 kg and is primarily used against high value strategic targets such as command control and communications, airfields, ports and power stations. AMS ammunition storage, surface ships and submarines in port and bridges. It's a fire and forget missiles and once launched, it cannot be controlled or commanded to self-destroy and its target information cannot be changed. The mission planners program the missile with target air defenses and target. The missile follows a path semi-autonomously on a low flight path guided by GPS and terrain mapping to the target area. This makes its detection very difficult. When close to the target, the missile climbs and then burns into a dive. Climbing to altitude is intended to achieve the best probability of target identification and penetration. During the burn, the nose cone is jettisoned to allow a high resolution thermographic camera infrared homing to observe the target area. The missile then tries to locate its target based upon its target information DSMAC. If it cannot, then there is a high risk of a collateral damage. It will fly into a crash point instead of risking inaccuracy. The Rafale can carry two scalp missiles along with three large fuel tanks in a long range attack configuration. Rafale has also been seen with four Mica missiles and the two at the wingtips are the Mica IR and the other two are Mica EM missiles. The Mica EM and IR looks quite similar but you can notice the difference at their tip. While Mica EM uses active radar homing for terminal guidance, the Mica IR makes use of infrared homing. Both the seekers are designed to filter out countermeasures such as chaff and decoy flares. A thrust vectoring control unit is also fitted into the rocket motor which increases the missile's agility. From 0 to 7 km, MICA has maneuverability of 50 g. However, by 12 km, this is reduced to 30 g as energy is lost. MICA has reported range of 60 km and uses active radar with ECCM and data link capabilities. You can also see Netra, AEW and C pictures shared along with Rafale. Mica air missiles at the wing tips of the Rafale can integrate their thermal view with Rafale's sensor fusion and present a unified view to the pilot. Rafales can run completely in passive mode while getting all the data from Netra, AEW and C and launch the missile. Now you would have got some idea and the reason behind sharing of these photographs by Indian Air Force. It is called Photo Ops and Indian Air Force has been doing it quite well in the last few months. The message what Rafale has to deliver is loud and clear. She can hit from a range where you cannot see her. Even if you see, still you won't dare to come near. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends.
Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in different sectors.